everyone, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the future scope of MSc and PhD in Forensic Sciences. Suppose if you have done your MSc in Forensic Science or MSc plus PhD in Forensic Science, what are the job scopes that are available for you? Everything in detail in one video I'm going to talk about. So come along with me and let's discuss about the topic in detail. So if you have done your MSc plus PhD in Forensic Sciences, you might ask me a question. Is there going to be a future scope if I have taken this forensic science as my mainstream? So can I get a job and it's going to be staying along with me uh, for almost 10, 20 years? Yes. Whenever you choose any career, you need to understand one important thing. It should not be a temporary position that you're going to be. So even after 10 years or 20 years, there has to be a scope in the field that you're entering. So today I'm going to talk about what's going to be the future scope of having an MSc and PhD in forensic sciences and what's going to be the job outlook after some uh, 10 years of your time is it going to be any growth in forensic science for people who have studied forensic science and what are the opportunities that are available what are the fields that you can enter to what are the areas of recruitment what is the average salary and what is the opportunity abroad how much top companies are actually coming and to India as well as abroad what are the top companies the best countries that you can go in for and the job opportunity in India so all we all together in one I'm going to talk about so come along with me and let's talk about the job outlook so first let me take you to this one so how much is the employment rate of a forensic science expert going to be or anybody any designation in case of forensic science after your MSc and PhD is going to be. It is believed that by 2020 to 2030, 16 percentage growth rate is going to take place, which means if you are belonging to a forensic science background, then definitely there is going to be a gradual growth in forensic science. If you if you're going to take it as a career, definitely there's going to be a much growth. You can see much faster than the average for all the occupation, which means if you have taken this, you are on the right track. The next important thing, what are the job scope? So here you can become a lecturer. Of course, you have completed your MSc and PhD in forensic sciences. You can become a lecturer or a professor and biomedical researcher. It's not necessary that only a biomedical engineer can become a biomedical researcher. Even a forensic science uh, person can become. And of course, a forensic consultant, you can become a forensic trainer and post-mortem experts you can become. This is more popular in most of the places globally and forensic pathologists. So these are some of the opportunities that I'm listing out very uh, prominently and we'll be talking about many more also in detail. The next comes, what is going to be the areas of recruitment? What are the sectors that you can go for? Yes, the most important thing all of you know because the crime rates are maximum in the digital world. So of course, a forensic scientist is always needed. It's not wanted also, it's always a need actually. So you can enter into a medical sector, you can enter into a pharma company or colleges and university as a professor or as a forensic expert also and definitely in a hospital and in the laboratories and research organization. Usually people after completing the PhD, they used to go for a lot of forensic laboratories as well as research organization and pharmaceutical company. If you have, if you like to go in for medical sectors, definitely it's always welcome to uh, go in for a medical sector also. Now, the most important question comes for us is what's going to be the average salary uh, if you are going to become a forensic science expert. In India, I'm going to talk about the complete details as well as I'll be taking you to the world things also. So the highest salary for a forensic science expert or the if you have studied PhD, MSc plus PhD in forensic science, you can even earn 20 lakh per annum in India I'm talking about and the lowest salary as a fresher you will get it as not as a fresher this is like very lowest amount is 3 lakh per annum average is going to be 10 lakh per annum so this is the average salary if we have to make a consolidation ver version as this. So if you want to become a lecturer in a college, almost five to six lakh per annum you can get initially after completing your PhD, not with any sort of experience. And biomedical researcher in a company used to get 5.5 to 6 lakh per annum and forensic consultants usually gets 4.5 lakh per annum. If you become a professor, assistant professor, you can even earn 7 lakh per annum. If you become a forensic trainer, you can become 4 point, you can earn almost 4.3 lakh per annum. And postmortem expert is 6 lakh per annum. And forensic pathologist is going to be rupees 5 lakh per annum. This is the initial salary. If you are going to have a very good skill, then definitely this is going to be maximum than this one. What about the next scenario? It's going to be abroad. 
in abroad as i already mentioned uh, a medical scientist whether in any sort of field usually gets maximum amount so you are literally seeing a uh, epidemiologist or medical scientist usually earns globally like the us dollar of 83620 us dollars and you can see patrol officers yes you can also become a patrol officer who earns almost 70000 us dollars and even a clinical laboratory technicians after msc with lot of experience or only with phd can get a 55990 environmental science and production technicians usually gets 50000 us dollars and forensic science technician usually gets 60000 so if you are going to see it here usually a scientist gets more money and patrol officers get and you can see uh, forensic science technicians usually gets this much amount abroad as a global scenario if we have to talk about it so this is all about the average salary that you can get in india as well as abroad the next come what are the job opportunities that is available for a forensic science msc plus phd completed candidates in government jobs you can go for and as well as private jobs also you can go for it if you would like to go in for government jobs of course professor comes under there but i have listed some other government job opportunities forensic consultants this is the maximum amount that a person can get in a government sector average salary i'm talking about so it's 7 lakh per annum and the lowest of all these things can be chief information officer this is almost 4 to 7.5 um, lakh we can say which is in between of these things uh, the very less is going to be the laboratory assistant who used to get like 3 lakh per annum and forensic investigator so this a uh, forensic investigator can get more than this if they are going to have a lot of experience an assistant central Int intelligence officer which is 3.60 lakh per annum these are the government jobs that are available for the forensic science candidates what about the private jobs yes definitely you also have a private job as i already mentioned 7 lakh per annum is for the professors who actually earns more and the post mortem expert usually earns 6 lakh per annum which is the highest amount and the least amount you can see over here is forensic trainer and forensic consultant so these are the uh, some of the job profiles who will be getting this much amount in india i'm talking about this is for private sector the next comes what are the top companies that actually recruits a forensic science candidate this is most important you have to start applying so you need to know which company to apply for so i'm going to list out some of the country com companies in india as well as some of the companies in global scenario so in india you can see ana cyber forensic private limited anr info Se security solutions forensic guru uh, secu genius and sync clutter and lab sy systems So these are some of the companies where you can go and look around. Uh, if any of the positions is available for you, then you can start applying for these positions. Then what about the global scenario in the entire world? If I have to talk about what is going to be the companies, so these are the some of the companies you can even see. Thermo Scientific uh, comes under this one. Selmar Forensic, Illumina, Life Technologies Corporations, and Perkin Elmer Inc. and uh, Pro Mega Corporation, Sorensen Forensic. Spax Forensic, Thermo Scientific, and there are a lot of op opportunities in each of the countries which has government uh, organization. As I already mentioned, patrol officers. So patrol officers in each of the countries also you can uh, actually become. So these are the top companies in India as well as in the global scenario we are talking about. The next comes which are the countries to go for. As I already mentioned, globally some of the companies US and all these companies are listed. You can go either go for US, Italy, UK, Spain, Singapore, Sweden, France, Japan. Brazil the Netherlands so these are some of the best companies that you can go for and what is going to be the career designations abroad so you can become any of these things like biomedical researcher forensic consultants professors and post mortem expert pharmaceutical companies you can go for colleges university you can go for hospitals healthcare sectors research institutions this is available in most of the places like not only in india this uh, profiles are actually present everywhere throughout the world globally we can say so this is all about if you have done msc and phd forensic sciences even a msc graduate can also fetch the same kind of job but one difference i'm going to tell you is as a phd graduate if you're going to have a very limited experience like one or two years you can easily go in for a job but as a msc graduate you need to have some more experience like 5 years of experience so that's the difference it actually makes between a msc graduate with forensic science along with a phd in forensic science but it it has nothing to do with it if you're going to have a very good skill even it's a phd graduate or a msc graduate 
you will always get a good amount of salary along with a very good job position. So this is all about the future scope of MSc plus PS. G in forensic sciences. I believe that this video is helpful for all of you who are watching out. So if you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel, Biotechnica. So thank you all of you for joining. And if you have any queries, you can put it in the comment section. You're always welcome to put your comments. Thank you all of you.